Happy weekend, friends. You guys, I wanna talk about words today. Your words have so much freaking power. And I think a lot of us just kind of, we don't even give it second thought, right? We say all these things outside of our heads. We say so many things inside of our heads. There's a lot of mean girling happening. I know it's not just me. So this morning when I was doing my daily gratitude practice in my normal routine, I came across a post with a whole bunch of really great affirmations. And so I actually sent that post to a couple of you. If you want to see it, drop a comment or message me and I'm happy to share it with you. Um, but it kind of gave me this like gut check that I need to rein in my own affirmations. And I want you to do the same thing this weekend. Like this is my challenge to you this weekend. It's not to like <laughs> work out for 500 hours or to only eat green things. I want you to live this life and freaking have so much fun, cultivate joy, find the fun and all of it. But like, I also want you to gut check what you're saying to yourself about yourself. I was reading a post yesterday and it was about how, um, I think it was actually an Alana Molstead who's one of our nutritionists. Um, she was talking about, you know, this is a bad day, like getting into a car accident, having someone really, really sick, somebody dying, like getting a divorce. Those are bad days, but how often do we get off track with our nutrition or we get off track with our movement? Or maybe you just, I don't know, eat your body weight and Hershey kisses, right? And you say that that was a bad day. That wasn't a bad day. It's all about rewiring how we're, what we're saying about how we're showing up. Because what you say about how you're showing up is going to influence how you're showing up. So if you're not showing up the way you want to right now, easy fix is you changing your freaking words. Your words have power. That's the note I wrote myself today during my workout. And so I wrote down a whole bunch of affirmation cards and I'm challenging you to do something similar. This is what I do, which doesn't mean you need to do it. When I was brand new to affirmations, I thought they were super hokey. I rolled my eyes. I was like, okay, whatever. But they totally changed my life. And so I started putting them everywhere. I got a chalk pen at Walmart and I would write them on my kid's bathroom mirror. I would put post-its on my freaking um, my visor in my car. I literally put notes to myself everywhere because that's what affirmations are. They're love notes. And so I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to challenge you to write affirmations that don't feel true, but I'm going to challenge you to write affirmations that maybe it's who you want to become and it has a kernel of truth in it. Because if you're telling yourself, if you're reciting every single day, if you're showing up and you're pouring your energy and you're saying the right words, but you don't believe them, then you're shooting yourself in the foot. So an example of that is like, I'm debt free and you know, I'm living my most epic life, but you're up to your eyeballs in credit card debt. So you know in your spirit that that's a lie. So instead, an affirmation that you could write that would have a kernel of truth that moves you closer to that version of yourself you want to be would be something like, today it feels easy to make the choices that support my debt-free life, okay? So it's not about saying, I've lost 100 pounds and I feel amazing in my skin. If you haven't lost any weight, say, today it feels easy to prioritize my journey. Today I make decisions that make me feel proud of myself. Today, it feels really good to drink my water and to show up and move my body because that's something that you can do today that will impact who you want to become tomorrow. Cool? Cool. So I super simple. You can use post-its. You can use um, index cards. You don't have to have fancy affirmation cards. Every single morning, if you follow my stories, I share the bar cards. I think those are freaking awesome and beautiful. But here's a cool tip. If you have Beachbody On Demand, you go to the bar program. And if you, if you do this on your phone or on a laptop, if you click on program materials, you can, you can print all those off. You don't have to have fancy cards, you guys. Stop telling yourself you have to have all these special tools before you can do it. Start with what you have, where you are, Maybe that means you just chicken scratch a whole bunch of truths, a whole bunch of things you want to become your truth. That's what I do every single morning. I read this bad boy. It's nothing fancy. It's not perfect, but it's so freaking important to condition yourself because you've already been conditioned for years and years of limiting self-beliefs and maybe things hurts, hurtful things someone else has said to you that you took on that wasn't yours to take on. So your words have power. What you say about yourself becomes your truth. So I'm telling you and challenging you to flip the script if you need to in the areas of your life that you're not like quite meeting the expectation of where you want to be. 
How can you edit it? How can you change it? How can you flip the script around it? Instead of, I, I hate my workouts, this is so hard, be like, today it feels really good to show up to my journey. Is that a lie? No, not necessarily. You might not wanna push play, but you know how good it's gonna feel on the flip side of that. When you get to check the box and you get to say, you know what, I did my best and I'm surrendering the freaking rest. It's so important to have affirmation slash truth statements that have a, a kernel of truth Otherwise, the entire time you're saying them, the entire time you're reading them, you're gonna be like, this isn't true. It's not gonna happen. This isn't my real, okay? So I'm gonna read off some of the ones that I wrote down today. Feel free to take them, make them yours, and just like, I don't care, cut up old cards. That's what I, that's what I did before these. I cut up some old cards and I just wrote down some truth statements on the back. They may not be my 100% truth right now, but because there's a kernel of truth in them and it's, it's all about me leveling up my journey, if I say them enough, it's easier to believe them. And because there's that truth in it, it's not something that my inner, inner voice is like, this is totally, you're lying, right? So the right people show up. An affirmation that Brianna gave me that I say over and over and over is that is this. Write this down, okay? If you struggle with belonging, if you struggle with friendships or you haven't found your person yet, I am loved by those who matter most. That has been an affirmation that I have said over and over and over, especially in this last two and a half years. Um, so if you need it, there you go, cool? So the right people show up. I am open to receiving greatness. I take action with faith and clarity. My body is rested and my mind is clear. <laughs> this might be one where I'm like, hmm, I don't know how much truth is in that, but hey, today I choose joy. I'm gonna choose joy. Do I have a huge to-do list? Yeah, I do, but I can still choose my perspectives. You can still choose how you're going to show up to it. It doesn't have to be drudgery just because it's something you don't necessarily want to do. You can still flip the script and change your freaking perspectives, my friends. I start my day with positive thoughts and energy. So having a gratitude practice matters. I am energized and inspired. Nothing holds me back. And I know a lot of us feel stuck. Truth talk, like I know a lot of us do. And so if you're feeling stuck and you're not, your journey isn't moving at the rate you think it should be, or you feel like you're further behind, I want you to say this one. I Nothing holds me back. I'm exactly where I need to be in this moment. I trust the process. Today feels easy to show up and do the next right thing. I'm relaxed, non-resistant, and clear. I lean out of fear and I choose faith. This is a big one for me, especially in this chapter. I am enough. You are enough exactly as you are. We are safe and everything unfolds with favor. Creative possibilities are available to me. My day unfolds with ease, grace, joy, love, and energy. I'm having fun today. Today is a great day and I'm exactly where I need to be. I am healthy, well, and vibrant. The braver I am, the luckier I get. I bring light with me wherever I go. I bring joy to others. I'm finding opportunities to play and laugh today, and I'm a positive influence in my world. You guys, affirmations, they can completely transform your life. Whatever you're saying about yourself, whether that's just inside your own mind or if you're saying it to other people, you're writing it down. If you have a broken mantra, you're going to live a broken life. But if you decide that you're going to arm wrestle that back, because let's be real, we're all humans. We all have those little negative, like, you know, limiting self-beliefs that are going to like raise their ugly freaking head. This is just part of being human. But when you can start to identify them and you can start to evict them from your life and be like, uh, uh, not today. I'm not going to give that my power. Instead, I'm going to see how I can flip this script, not into a lie, but into something that has a morsel of truth that will that will propel me towards that next level version of myself. Okay, so your words have freaking power. Own it today. If you need anything, message me, let me know. Otherwise, show up today. Share your accountability. This is your freaking journey. It's your freaking gift, and I'm so grateful that we get to adventure on it together. <laughs>